Okay, welcome to my video series. What I want you to do is, every time we go through a question and there is a question that is being paused, please take the time to press the pause button, think about the question, analyze it, try to answer it on your own, and then press the play button again to check whether your answer is correct or not. The question we have in front of us is, suppose that the price P of a certain product is related to the number of units produced Q such that P is equal 1000 over 5 plus Q. How does the price P and the quantity Q vary with respect to each other? Basically, what I want you to do is think about the following. We have a commodity, we're producing Q units of this commodity, and each unit is priced at P units of price, dollars, dirhams, etc. How does the price P and the quantity Q vary with respect to each other? That is to say, when P changes, increases, or decreases, how does Q relate to that? Does it increase also? Does it decrease also? Why or why not? I'm going to give you time to pause, think about this, and then press the play button in a few seconds. Okay, now that you're back, here's the question. We want to, to find out how P and Q change with respect to each other. And so in order for us to do this, we have several approaches. One of them, the simplest one, I believe, would be to start up a small table that relates the P values with the Q values. I could take several values for Q. Let's say Q equals 5, Q equals 15, and Q equals 20, just for the sake of example. You could use other numbers too. Obviously, the values of Q are increasing. We're producing more units. For each one of those, the values of P are calculated as follows. Replacing Q by 5, you get 1,000 divided by 5 plus 5, which is 1,000 divided by 10, which is 100. And the second question, or the second value, I'm going to write Q equals 15 and I'll end up with 1,000 over 20, which is equal to 50. And then on the last one, I'm going to say 100 over 5 plus, 1,000 over 5 plus 20 is 1,000 divided by 25, and the answer is 40. And so now I pause the question again. How does the price P and the quantity Q vary with respect to each other? That is absolutely correct. I assume you answered easily that as the quantity Q increases, the price P decreases. And as a side note over here, that makes perfect sense from a logical standpoint. When you produce a lot and a lot of a certain commodity, for example, softer drinks, millions of cans are produced, then the price of this commodity becomes really small cheap, not that expensive, but when you produce limited editions of luxurious sports cars, their price is extremely high. Okay, so we're going to pause a little bit and then we move on to the next question. 